Zidane Danny, Election Ninja here. Before this video begins, I would just like to state that yesterday's video, I had no intention of actually connecting that with the politics that just so happened to happen yesterday with the whole World War III trending on Twitter. So, um, hopefully you guys don't hate me about that. But, uh, anyways, let's get into today's video. My Hero Academia. Now, I have been slacking on the anime uh, for obvious reasons. I haven't talked about it here on the channel every week since uh, for some reasons, but the main one is that a lot of the episodes that we have been getting lately are pretty much exactly verbatim what we got in the manga with all these fights that are happening, all these conflicts that honestly doesn't seem the most reasonable. But understandably, we have to deal with it. It's gonna happen. Um... With combat, really the only thing that is going to change between manga and anime is the flowing. And I didn't really feel like I necessarily needed to make a video for each and every single one of the episodes that were a specific fight. So what if the fight with, between uh, for Red Riot is really amazing and the character development for him was amazing and I wish that I actually had talked about that because it was really good. I love that character. Um, I love what happened in that episode. And obviously the fight with between Lamillion and um, Overhaul is amazing. And even though it's available to see, <laughs> the Deku fight is honestly probably going to be the exact same. I haven't seen it yet as of recording this video, but when it, this video comes out, it will be available on Hulu, so I will be watching it immediately. And the important thing to realize is that these fights, while important to develop the characters, there's not much difference between the anime and manga. These characters, while getting huge amounts of development, such as Lamillion learning how to really care about this child, even though he is still young, um, will be great when he eventually becomes a father, if he does. And also, how much he's going to care for... It makes it clear how much he's going to be caring for... Airy in the upcoming chapters. And honestly, I love the character development for him. And I wish that as of the current point in the manga, he and Airy had more to do. These two characters are honestly amazing. And on top of that, the new connection that's going to happen with Aizawa is honestly great, and I wish that these characters got way more development than they actually do. But, unfortunately, they're not going to. Well, they will in the anime. They still have some development left to go. But for the manga, honestly, they're just going to be kind of background characters, it looks like. Which kind of makes me sad, because Eri is honestly the cutest character in the entire show, adding her to the three characters that I want to adopt, <laughs> um, which is actually kind of funny because they're all those characters are female characters. It's weird. Um, don't, don't question me. Don't, don't look at me like that. Um, but the point is that these characters get development and that's about it no more than what I've seen, and most of the changes between anime and manga is really just, it's going a lot faster. Um, if you guys haven't read the manga, then 
you really should, but the manga spends a lot more time in the combat. Um, obviously, they get through everything in the anime, but Horikoshi just wanted to really draw these fights to make them feel real, and he also did a lot of pictures that were both pages of the uh, on both sides and that is honestly great but it also means that it's a lot a lot to take in so unfortunately we don't get them as quickly as we would like um but luckily the anime went through it relatively quickly, which actually leads me to believe that they may actually do what I believe that they were going to do with this season, to make it go beyond the usual point. What normally would have been the ending point for the uh, for the manga, and uh, for the anime, is that they probably would have ended with before the Endeavor chaos, with Endeavor becoming the number one hero, officially. They probably would have ended with that normally. Um, but it looks like most likely they will be continuing because of how fast they were able to get through this stuff, keeping it down to one fight per chapter, uh, per episode, made this go very fast. In fact, I'm I, even though I haven't seen it yet, I actually believe that this next episode is going to actually be taking both of Deku's fights against Overhaul. Um, if you guys don't know or you watched the anime, um, Deku's fight was actually split into two... Uh, was actually separated in two volumes, where... And I don't know if they did that with the, an uh, with the anime yet, but... The way they ended it in the first volume of that fight was that they specifically say, at the end, Deku is going to die, which was a huge thing, because it puts fear in you. Like, holy cow, this character who has seen the future before is saw Deku die. That's terrifying. But it doesn't happen. And that's honestly great. That's awesome that they were able to subvert our expectations and let Deku win in the next chapter. But I don't know how they're going to do it in the anime. And honestly, based off the spoiler pictures that I've seen so far, it looks like it's going to take both fights in one episode. So, yeah. Um, but before I do close this video off, I would like to say that if they didn't actually complete the second Deku fight versus Overhaul in this episode, I will not be doing a um, anime versus manga of this before we actually reach the new episode. Um, so, when they when they do the next episode, I will, if, they're, if it's still the fight, I'm not going to do an anime versus manga video of it, unless it's actually, um, they actually do a lot more stuff behind, that, that happened after the fight. In which case, yes, absolutely, I'm going to talk a, at least a little bit about it. But anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of these fights because I personally love them but I don't I want to know what you guys think um of course if you guys are new please subscribe and ring that notification bell but and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like leave your theories down in the comments below make sure to use the hashtag theory review but anyways guys I've been Electro Ninja and I will see you guys next time but on